Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Now for today's video, I wanted to talk about the ending of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and try to open up a discussion on something specific that we see go down at the end of the film. Because while a lot of people seem to be focused on the escaped dinosaurs that ran into the forest at the end of the movie, nobody is really talking about what happened to the vials of dinosaur DNA that we know made it out of the Lockwood Manor. So believe it or not, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom now came out over two years ago. And in that short amount of time, we've received both a canon short film that takes place one year after the movie's events, as well as the news that the sixth Jurassic Park movie will be diving into the effects this dinosaur breakout have caused in the next film. So it's true that we see dinosaurs like the Baryonyx and the Allosaurus getting shipped out to various different spots around the world, but there is actually an entire briefcase full of Jurassic World DNA that seems to get looked over in that ending. In my opinion, this could actually be a very big deal to the next movie if those vials actually contain DNA of animals that we haven't really seen just yet. So at the end of Fallen Kingdom, we can only make out a few dinosaur species in this briefcase, and most of them are creatures that we've already seen before. Stegosaurus, Carnotaurus, Brachiosaurus, and I think even Dilophosaurus are all listed as having been found at the end of the movie, but then there's a lot of other names that are left obscured. One species we haven't really seen in full in Jurassic World just yet happens to be the Dread Nautis, which I mentioned back when the movie came out. However, there is still a lot of other animals that we don't have a solid answer as to what they could be due to the blurriness of this particular shot. And keep in mind, this is only one specific briefcase that was opened in the film, and it alone couldn't possibly list off all of the known dinosaurs that were cloned on Isla Nublar, so there very well could be even more DNA that we don't know about that got away from the mansion at the end of the film. Now the reason I bring all of this up is because I think this could actually be how we're going to see new species in the next movie. We already know that animals like the Lystrosaurus are appearing in Jurassic World Dominion, and since we previously haven't had any sort of evidence of it appearing in the old parks, I'm guessing that its DNA could have secretly gotten away at the end of the movie. Showing this briefcase is a small thread that I think they probably teased at the end of Fallen Kingdom as a means to introduce new animals in further films. Sort of like how in Jurassic Park, we only learn of 15 species being listed on Isla Nublar, but then in The Lost World, they explain that, oh, there were all kinds of other ones being bred on standby for future parks on Isla Sorna. And then in Jurassic Park 3, we got that cryptic line about Spinosaurus not being on Injun's list. And of course, Jurassic World opened it up even further by showing Dr. Henry Wu actively creating new species at the fully functional park. So I think with the advent of Biosyn taking over from Injun in the next movie, we could get some new and improved dinosaur species that are more accurate to what Dr. Wu was making at Jurassic World due to stuff like these DNA vials getting out at the end of the last film. Now, with all of that being said, I want you guys to remember that this is all just speculation on my part. I don't have any concrete evidence. It's all just my own theorizing. But I've actually been thinking about this for a while now and haven't really said anything about it until this video. It's totally normal for people to wonder how Biosyn would even make new species, considering all we really know of for certain is that a whole bunch of people got a hold of some of the known animals that escaped or got sold in Fallen Kingdom. So if they only got a hold of the known animals, then how do we see new dinosaurs? Well, again, with animals like the Nasutoceratops appearing in Battle at Big Rock, and even Camp Cretaceous explaining that Jurassic World kept a few animals away from the public, I think this whole DNA briefcase thing could very well be a good explanation as to how new types of dinosaurs are being cloned. That is taking into consideration, of course, that somebody, Biosyn, actually took the briefcases like this at the end of the last film. But hey, again, this is all just my own fan ramblings on the subject matter. The fact is, we're going to be seeing new dinosaurs in Jurassic World Dominion, and they've always sort of had an out for why we could see new species in further sequels down the line. If they only went for what was said on screen specifically in Jurassic Park 1, then we'd only have 15 known dinosaurs to really deal with, and we wouldn't have gotten stuff like 
Pachycephalosaurus or Spinosaurus or Mosasaurus or what have you later on down the line. So that's pretty much my thinking on what happened to the dinosaur DNA and why we're going to be seeing new dinosaurs in the next movie. But hey, now, whatever your own thoughts and opinions happen to be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Now, before I go, I'd like to thank all of my game wardens, as well as all of my engine executives. I'd also like to thank all of my park workers and engine hunters as well. Guys, it seriously means the world to me that all of you continue to support what I do, and I never want you to ever forget that. Now, I'd like to thank all of you for watching today's video and hope that you all enjoyed the content. If you feel like I deserve it, I'd appreciate the like and hope that you'll consider subscribing if you're interested in hearing from me again. I'll see you on the next video, guys, and as always, take it easy.